Hey guys, what's up? My name is Carissa. If you are new, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite sweatshirts, both hoodies and crewnecks. This is actually my second video in my comfy fave series that I've posted. If you haven't checked out my first video, it is my top 10 favorite sweatpants and joggers. So I'll link it for you guys if you guys want to watch it or rewatch it. <laughs> okay, so this is actually pretty hard to narrow down, but I think I'm really happy with my top 10 selection. These 10 sweatshirts are really tried and true for me. I've worn them to death and they are always on repeat for me every single week. Lots of different variation too between like cropped, fitted, boyfriend fit for example. You know I got you covered. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. I'm gonna start with hoodies first before jumping into crewnecks and my first hoodie favorite probably comes to no surprise, especially if you've been a longtime follower of mine. I have to start with Aritzia and this is probably like my all-time favorite is the Aritzia boyfriend hoodie. I think that they changed the name of this. This is now like the Cozy AF collection, but before there wasn't a Cozy AF, but Anyways, it's their boyfriend hoodies. This style is my go-to sweatshirt. I have this sweatshirt, I kid you not, in over 10 different colors. It is just so good. The fit of it is just the perfect oversized fit. And there's a few things that I mean by that. So starting with just like the size, I guess. It's not too long and it's not too short. It comes to like a really good length. It kind of hits like in the middle towards the bottom of your butt. The bottom cuff on this isn't cinched. It's more of like a wide band going all the way Way around so it doesn't stick to you it kind of just like sits there which is so nice as well and then the sleeves so typically when you get an oversized sweatshirt I feel like most companies don't take in consideration to shorten the sleeves you know there's a time and a place for like super long sleeves but typically especially on someone petite like I am you don't want them to just be overwhelmingly super super long right so with Aritzia's boyfriend sweatshirts they definitely aced it honestly these sleeves are the perfect length I'll of course be including all of the colors in the side that I mentioned down below just in case I don't mention it throughout every single one of the sweatshirts. This one specifically and the boyfriend sweatshirts I do get in a size one which is their smallest size that they come in but as you can see on me when I try it on it is still definitely very roomy and oversized which is exactly what I like in it. So I can honestly talk about this sweatshirt for days and days. It's just one that I can pair with absolutely everything from leggings to jeans to sweatpants especially the matching sweatsuits is so fire but you honestly cannot go wrong with a sweatshirt at all. So naturally I felt it was right to go right into the Ritzia perfect hoodie. So this is pretty much like the exact same of everything as the boyfriend hoodie, but it's a more fitted version. So I always like to have a lots of different variation in my collection when it comes to hoodies. Different occasions call for different sorts of comfy sweatshirts, am I right? So a lot of the times with the perfect hoodie, like I said, this is more fitted and I like to wear this like with jeans. I feel like it typically looks really good or if you want to look, I don't know, a little bit more put together. This is something that I would wear into the office too, back when we actually went into the office. <laughs> what I love about their hoodies is the fact that the hood, one, is actually double layered. So it's like really thick and it's a nice size hood. But at the collar right here, they like crafted it perfectly where you don't have to keep tugging on it. I feel like I've said this quite a bit in my last few videos, but you don't want your hoodie to kind of choke you, you know, where you're constantly pulling on it and pulling it down. So I feel like Aritzia definitely nailed it. I never feel like I have to pull on the hood or on the top of the collar to adjust the sweatshirt at all, which is really great. So while the Ritzia sweatshirts, they offer, I don't even know, 20 plus different colors depending on the style and fit that you're looking at. They offer tons of different colors. They have lots of solids and they also have lots of dyes. So their garment dyes, which is JD, if you're looking on their website, which is essentially a dyeing process to give your sweatshirt a more dimensional, washed down, worn in look. So no two are exactly the same. They even say on their website that the color could change with washing. So I feel like if you were to get these sweatshirts and get the dyed versions, which is typically, in my opinion, I feel like the better color selection. I love the colors that they come out with on the dyes. Just be mindful of that. I know I have heard of a lot of negatives around the dyes and the fact that the colors do change or it fades with washing and all that sort of stuff. They do mention that on their website and they do mention that not all two are the same. I personally haven't seen any fading with washing or anything like that but I have seen that sometimes like the matching sets they're not a hundred percent identical so actually this one is the perfect example and why I wanted to show it this hoodie with the matching sweatpants it's like not the perfect a hundred percent color match but it's so close and it's not something that bothers me at all but of course definitely something I wanted to mention about the dyed version of these hoodies and in this hoodie I do get an extra extra small I do have one in an extra small 
I don't know, wanted to switch it up and kind of have like a, a roomier fitted hoodie, but typically I get these in a size extra extra small. Okay, so the next sweatshirt I wanted to talk to you guys about is this one that I got from Pangaea. This one has so quickly become one of my all-time favorites. I just picked this up like less than two months ago and it's one that I wear at minimum once a week. It's so comfortable, it's so soft. The inside of this is so comparable to the Ritzia sweatshirts if you own them. I feel like that's a good reference point. The thickness is about the same as well. This is the heavyweight version, so it has like a fleece interior. And of course I have to mention with these sweatshirts, one of the many reasons why it's my favorite is that it is sustainably made. I think it's like one of my only ones that's sustainably made. And this brand is definitely giving sustainably made clothes such a good name because honestly with this, you just can't tell the difference. It's so soft and plush and the comfort is just to die for. It's just so amazing. And how they make this, it's actually with recycled and organic cotton and it's made with environmentally friendly dyes. The color selection in this is pretty great too. This is the color stone and I get it in a size extra, extra small. So this is the smallest size that it comes in. And the bottom of this, I have to mention, is quite nice too. It does have a ribbed hem and this one is like a little bit more cinched than the boyfriend hoodie, but not like super cinched. So it's still like pretty loose, which I honestly really like in my boyfriend hoodies. I feel like we all knew this next favorite was coming. This is the scuba hoodie from Lululemon. I get this in a size two, which I feel like is weird because with all their other jackets and sweatshirts and everything, I always size down to a size zero. But this one in particular, I do stick with the size two. I think that it runs kind of small. So this is another one of like my favorite fitted hoodie options. I would typically reach for this one if I wanted more of a lightweight sweatshirt compared to the Perfect Hoodie. The Perfect Hoodie is a little bit more of a heavier weight sweatshirt. This one is super lightweight. It does have cotton terry fabric on the inside, so it's very breathable and it's lightweight. So definitely my go-to when the weather's a little bit warmer or if I'm gonna be wearing a sweatshirt all day inside and I wanna make sure that I don't get too hot. I love the material of it because it is not like a typical hoodie material. This one is a little bit more sleeker. It has a stretchy material. In my mind, I kind of associate with being a classier hoodie in a way. This color is just one of my all-time favorites too, this light heather gray. It's such a good one. Good kangaroo pocket too, and it is like a good like hip length. So with it being more fitted, the ribbed hem is more fitted around your waist as well. To close out on the hoodies categories, my last one is this zip-up hoodie. Of course, had to include a zip-up option in my top 10 favorites. This one, hands down, is my favorite zip up. It is just like the Rizia boyfriend hoodie, but in a zip up option. I mean, come on, it doesn't get better than that. I get this one in a size one. This one in particular is a part of like their dyed collection. Everything that I've spoken about with the Rizia sweatshirts already still holds true with this one. Nice thick fabric, super soft, super comfy and warm. And honestly, such a great staple for an everyday wardrobe. So a few reasons why this is my favorite, aside from the facts that I just mentioned, is I love the versatility of this one. So I love that I can zip it all the way up and wear it with leggings and that in itself could be like a really cute outfit with high top converse. Or if I wanted to switch things up, I can have it unzipped, have a t-shirt, have something else underneath, kind of throw it off one shoulder. That can be a whole look of itself too. This is typically a sweatshirt that if I'm cold in my house, I'll just grab and throw on because it's so big and so oversized. It kind of just feels like a comfy robe in a sense. It has such an effortless feel to it. I love the Kango pocket and of course, all the rib detailings around the cuff, the hem, and then on the side, they have like some side paneling rib too. So this hoodie is such a good one. Love it so, so, so much. Heading into crewnecks, I cannot discriminate. Crewnecks are is equally as important as my hoodie collection. There definitely can be a time and a place for a hood. You know, sometimes your outfit calls for one, Sometimes it doesn't. So it's important to have a good crew neck collection too. I try not to be so predictable, but I of course had to start the crew necks with the Aritzia boyfriend crew neck. I have this one, I think in over five different colors. I actually just picked one up last week that is in the cloud white color. It's just like the ultra light gray option. Oh. So dreamy, it's so perfect. This one though, I busted out because this is hands down the one that I wear the most out of all of them. It's so important to have a nice medium gray sweatshirt because it's so versatile. It'll go with absolutely everything. Most recently, my favorite way to wear these is with jeans and kind of like tucking in a part of the sweatshirt. I also really like with the oversized sweatshirts, you can actually just fold it all under and tuck it into your bra to give yourself more of like 
like a, a cropped look to it too. A two for one maybe. So this one is part of their solids collection. It's not dyed. I get this in a size one and it's held up so well. I've had this one for I think over a year and a half, maybe two years. And it honestly looks like I just picked it up yesterday. Again, I love like the oversizedness of this hoodie. It's not too long, it's not too short. The sleeves are the perfect length. And I love that the bottom of this does not cinch in at all. I feel like this is definitely one of like the top three that everyone needs to have in their closet. Next up is this one from Anina Bing. I think that's how you pronounce it. This one is very similar to the last one that I just shared with you. It kind of has like an oversized fit. It's kind of bigger. The only difference is the cuff on this one does cinch in so you can kind of like fold it under and everything else just kind of like flows, you know? I did get this one in a size extra small. So this is the smallest size that it comes in and it's still like pretty oversized on me. Not mad about the size at all. I actually think that this looks pretty good. I feel like this is the best of both worlds. It's kind of fitted, but then it's still roomy and oversized and comfy, which is so great. What I love about this one in particular is obviously this gorgeous gray color, but it has some nice fading in it where it just has like this perfect worn in look that's like the definition of a sweatshirt that you stole from your boyfriend, you know? Like the look of it, the fit of it, how it feels, everything about it, it just screams, I stole this from my boyfriend. <laughs> what I also love about it is that it is 100% cotton. So anything that's 100% cotton, I don't know, it has like this extra level of comfort to it. It has some good weight to it too. And this is definitely another one that I typically gravitate towards to throw on and wear around the house when I'm getting a little bit chilly too. I actually have a couple of cropped favorites. So my first of the cropped favorites is the Aritzia Boyfriend Crop Sweatshirt. So this one has the exact same fit as the Aritzia Boyfriend Crew Neck Sweatshirt, just the original one, the first one that I shared with you, but just in a cropped version. I do feel like the sleeves on this one is a tad longer than the other ones, but because of the cropped, I feel like it kind of just evens itself out. So I'm not mad about the long sleeves. I actually think that it looks pretty chic. I get this one in a size one as well. These have a raw cut hem. So you can see that it sometimes starts to fold over a little bit, like rolls, but it doesn't roll beyond this. Like this is as far as it ever rolls. I have these in two colors and they're always on repeat for me. My favorite way to dress these is actually with high rise jeans, especially if you just want to look like you're more put together than you feel. It's always nice to like throw on jeans, but then you just throw on this cropped sweatshirt, maybe have like a tight white t-shirt underneath, but just that outfit on its own. So good, you guys, such a staple, so easy to just throw on and go. It's definitely one of my go-tos, so I definitely love this sweatshirt. Other ways that you guys have seen me wear it is just throwing it on with some high-rise sweatpants. That's always a good option too, but you guys, options are endless. This is definitely a really great sweatshirt to own. Another one of my cropped favorites is this one from Aloe. So this is in this beautiful olive branch color. I get in a size extra small. This is the smallest size that it comes in. Sometimes Aloe has extra, extra smalls and if they have that, I typically snatch it up. But anyways, this one is a little bit more cropped than the Ritzy one that I just showed and the sleeves on this one, believe it or not, are a little bit longer as well. This one gives just such an effortless vibe. It's one of my favorites to wear with leggings, with sweatpants, with jeans. It's really easy to layer too because it's really lightweight. So throwing any oversized big puffer jackets over top, you're not like competing with so much fabric to try to like stuff into your jacket, you know? And on that note, this is my favorite lighter weight option of like a crop sweatshirt to wear. It's definitely more heavyweight than say a long sleeve t-shirt, right? So that's why I would put it in the category of sweatshirts. It's so buttery soft and so comfortable to wear. You guys will not want to take it off if you put this on and it does have some stretch to it too, which is really nice. So my very last favorite, I can't believe we're finally at 10, is this polar fleece from Aritzia. So it is a quarter zip. I got this, I think, at the beginning of fall. I shared it in an Aritzia haul video that I did. I am so glad I got this. This is definitely a sweatshirt that I wear every single week, especially right now with it being winter. If it's out, I typically will just wear it every single day. It has so much warmth to it. It's kind of crazy. You will instantly be burning up. So it's a great option for being outside. The only thing I will say about it is that with it being like a polar fleece, it's not like wind resistance. So the wind will still like get through and I'm like, oh man, I get a breeze, it's cold. But just for like being in the snow or pretty much any element except for wind, this is so good. I think that the collar is a nice height on it. Same with like the zipper is a good length. I get this in a size extra, extra small. Perfect size for me, I wouldn't change it. It has a nice kangaroo pocket. And the bottom of this, as it is cropped, it actually does have a jawstring so that you can tighten it in and cinch it in. So you can kind of manipulate the length of it 
just a little bit, which is kind of cool. I'll honestly find any occasion to throw this on if I'm wearing it with joggers, with leggings, with sweatpants, with jeans. So again, this really just looks good with absolutely everything. All right, well that concludes the top 10 favorite sweatshirts, the favorite hoodies and crewnecks in my life. I of course really hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the sweatpants and joggers one if you haven't. And everything that I showed in this video, I of course will make sure I'm linking down below. I thought it'd be fun to put each sweatshirt into an outfit. So I kind of paired some bottoms with each of the sweatshirts. So I will definitely link all that information down below for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And if you have any other video ideas that you'd like to see a part of like this comfy series, definitely let me know now that I've kind of started this I thought it'd be fun to continue it with other comfy favorites but anyways I really hope that you guys enjoyed this please make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up please make sure you're following me on Instagram and subscribe before you go and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys I love you